Okay, so yeah, I, I mean, I'm almost genuinely surprised by that, that there really is still, there's only the two of you running right now. So, I mean, I it seems like a great way to set the stage for you here now to, you know, talk a lot of trash about this man. I'm sure he's awful. Like, do you have any? I have never met him. Um... The, uh, the as you may know, the forums were not um, very like they were not organized by the city, so it was more about the associations and groups inviting some candidates to do virtual uh, forums. So we, I think, we were in one together, but it was never a conversation on a one-to-one basis. Mm-hmm. So I have not met him. Uh, I, I, I don't think nobody's a bad person, and. I will never trash anybody. Uh, I I will just say we just so opposites, like starting from male female. <laughs> sure, I mean, like I think that actually never having met someone could work in your favor here because you know that kind of frees us up to really we can just make up rumors about him if you want. And uh, like I, I I admire your 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 tact and your professionalism here, saying that you know you're you're not somebody who wants to trash talk anyone and I, I i totally admire that but with that being said you know Paige and i can just start making up rumors about this man that if we've never met either and you can just sit and nod sagely if that's you know more preferable to you and or then no, no one can claim shake you your said head. It. yeah just shake your head i will give you three scurrilous rumors about your opponent tim cartmel and you just you pick one that you think is the most untrue, and you can defend his honor on that one. Okay, I'll okay. try. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, or, you know, I mean, we can split them up. Paige, do you want to offer any of these scurrilous rumors? I will offer one, but I would love for you to go first, Kelly. All right. So, I've heard from a really reliable source that Tim Cartmel is actually hoping to rezone three of the neighborhoods in his ward. Um, away from the kind of mixed-use commercial residential that they are and into a unregulated nuclear waste dumping site. So that's that's something I think you could really run against because that seems unpopular. <laughs> right, but I've also heard from a reputable and only ever truthful source that Tim Cart- Cartmel? Carmel? Uh, Cart- that- Cartmel. Cart Mel is notorious for pronouncing caramel like his last name. So he doesn't call them caramels or caramels. He calls them cartmels. It's notorious for it. At every, any chance, any time that uh, the candy comes up, he's, he's putting his own name on it. It's rude. Yeah. I, I did hear that one as well. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've also heard that he... Um, is one of those people who's extremely angry about the renaming of the wards to indigenous names. And he wanted the reward um, at the time, yeah, which he was the only one living in, to be renamed Ward Cartmel. Mm. So of those three... Likes to name things after himself. <laughs> yeah, we, we certainly don't have time and we wouldn't expect you to put in the work to deny all those things. But if you want to take the time to deny one, I think that would make you look really good. Yeah. I think uh, I, I can tackle at least two i think everybody has been against nuclear weapons since 1945 so i hope nobody's going back to that soon um and 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 well i think it would be the waste from nuclear power plants so you know like nuclear has a lot of potential as like a clean uh like when handled correctly like low carbon emission way of generating power for our power grid Unless you're doing it the way uh, Tim wants to do it, which is basically to build a bunch allegedly. of orphanages. to build Tim a bunch allegedly of, wants to Tim allegedly it. wants to build a bunch <laughs> of uh, orphanages in uh, Ward Piesuin, or which, as he would like to have it, Tim uh, Ward Cartmel, and right. then simply have all the waste trucked in there and kind of just allowed to ooze across the ward until it hits the concrete walls at the edges of the ward. He's also going to build those. I've heard allegedly. Oh, Wait. another one, three and one. <laughs> but uh, so, if he cannot pronounce his last name, then wouldn't be Ward Caramel instead of Caramel? Right. <laughs> well, if he was against pronouncing the the words, that's true. 
And that's a great question. And these are the questions we need to be asking in these elections is like, what exactly is your last name? How do you pronounce it? Without... I lost that game already. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and ex like exactly where are the boundaries of this wall going to be that keep the nuclear waste in? Like these are these are the things I haven't heard these kind of things discussed even once in this entire election. And I've been paying maybe 10% attention. It, hmm. That's a lot. <laughs> For a municipal election, it absolutely is. <laughs> it, that, that means we're improving. That means we're more entertaining than past elections and people is paying more attention. So 10% is already a win. <laughs>